Ever wondered why a tiny shimmering fish from the Amazon rainforest can now be found swimming lazily in living rooms worldwide? Or how these little jewels became aquarium stars and sometimes victims of their own popularity? Today on Timeless Tales, I'm diving into the world of tropical fish, their wild beginnings, their journey through human hands, and the challenges they face in our changing world. Let's wind the clock back, way before aquarium shops and fake gravel. Tropical fish, like Tetra's guppies angelfish, evolved millions of years ago in the rivers of South America, Africa, Southeast Asia. These rivers teemed with life and fish adapted to every niche. Some learned to blend in like underwater ninjas, others dazzled with flashes of brilliant color. They acted as predator and prey, kept aquatic plants in check, and recycled nutrients, a key piece of freshwater ecosystems. But humans had to get involved. By the late 1800s, exotic pet mania began. Tropical fish caught on fast. Explorers shipped crates of wriggling treasures across oceans, sparking crazes in Europe and North America. Domestication and selective breeding followed. Fancy guppies with flowing tails, bettas bursting with color. The hobby exploded. Today, over 100 million tropical fish are kept as pets worldwide. As tanks got fancier, problems multiplied. Stunning looks came with genetic health issues. Balloon mollies, bred round, often face organ problems. Wild stocks suffer too. Species like the cardinal tetra are still wild caught, putting pressure on populations. Dumped pets can become invasive, outcompeting native wildlife and unbalancing ecosystems. The IUCN now lists over 30% of freshwater fish species as threatened, driven by habitat loss and the pet trade. What does our love for tropical fish say about us? We adore their beauty and the miracle inside a glass box. But choices like buying wild-caught or supporting unethical breeding create ripple effects beyond our living rooms. Are we guardians of nature or collectors of its prettiest pieces? Next time you peer into an aquarium, remember, every bubble tells a story. If bringing home a fish, choose captive bread, research their needs, and never release them into the wild. If you enjoyed this dive, hit like, subscribe to Timeless Tales, and swim to the comments to share your fishy stories. Let's keep these tales alive, and make sure real ones keep swimming for generations.